Good nipple, guys. My name is Noah. I am not a professional editor. I am not a professional... To be honest, anything. I'm not even a professional human. There's nothing to me that is professional. But I like to edit. Today, I wanted to show you the process of how I made this edit of I Told Sunset About You. And reason being is just because I really enjoy editing. I enjoy editing a lot and that's why even when I say things like, oh, this video took me two weeks or a minimum of like 14 hours, six hours to edit, etc. It might sound like a lot of work because it is, but for the most part, because it's something that I love to do, I say these numbers proudly because of the effort that I put into my work, the fact that I'm proud of the end result, and because I just enjoy it overall. And I will not stop saying that, no, if you've been a long time subscriber of mine, then you probably heard me ramble on and on about how much I enjoy editing, and uh, I don't plan on stopping. I've already done a similar video to this a year or so ago and it was for another edit that I did on my channel for The Untamed. Whenever I find a really strong connection with a show or I fall into the rabbit hole that is, or you know, some people call it a fandom, <laughs> I call it hell. I tend to create art for it in different forms just because I feel so much for it that I need to do more than just reaction videos and tendency is I will do an edit um and that's what i'm about to do right now and i want to show you that oh oh the reason that i mentioned having done this video before is some things have changed we've made some pretty good improvements starting with the software that i use i am now using davinci resolve one of the things that you'll always hear when you look this software up is how it boasts its industry standard color grading which is pretty darn good it is one of the biggest reasons too why i use davinci resolve is because there is little to no delay or lag in in editing and the editing process and playback and things like that also because in the time that i have been using resolve which is i mean admittedly not that long i don't think it's been a year i started using davinci resolve late last year it's crashed once and that was pretty recent which for someone that's been editing for a while and for the process of editing knowing being really familiar with that pretty darn good odds so right here in my media pool you will see that i have all of the episodes of it's a which is the edit that i'm about to do and then a song by moses sumney me in 20 years which i did hear from euphoria from the rue episode the first time i heard this it really struck a nerve in me that i didn't even know was in my person <laughs> i think it put it there just to strike it and i remember thinking that I have to do something with this song. I don't know what it is or how I'm gonna do it, but definitely, I had that in my back pocket. And then months later, here we are. I saw it say, sorry, I saw it say. I completed watching the season the other day and I just knew I have to do an edit. For this edit in particular, there is no huge blueprint in my mind of how I want this to go. I have a very vague idea of how I want it to start. The end result is still up for grabs. I do not know what that's going to look like. It can be a downside because obviously not having a plan, not having a clear cut idea of how you want scene for scene to look in your edits can drag down time like you would not believe. And that's been true for a lot of my edits as well. When you do not have a plan and you kind of go into this sort of free verse style, then that leaves a lot of room for changes. You don't set a limit to yourself, so there will be a lot of re-editing that happens, which also is why, even though you're seeing as an end result, like a, a video that's maybe no longer than a minute and a half, that could possibly have taken me either as much time as or more time than half an hour of a video that i've edited because there's so many possibilities to it right now i just have the song to go off of there are a few scenes that i know i want to add and that's how i'm basically just going to start this off let's get emotional shall we i'm going to listen to the song again kind of get a feel for it and then see if i want to make any edits to the song itself a lot of the edits for the scenes and when you want to create impact and build up and all of that stuff music is a huge part of that and so i want to make sure that i have a solid mix of the music if there's a need for splicing and putting things together or if i can just cut at a certain point and let it fade out so that's why i always start editing with music so here is what i've come up with so far let's go back to the edit page and it's been difficult to kind of put all of the songs together without it sounding awkward so i added a bunch of fade-ins and layered them 
etc so that it the blending would sound better as you can see here the music cuts out pretty abruptly and it's almost awkward i want this part with the lyrics that's just a little bit more a little bit more and more i don't know it's kind of difficult oh. Nope. It was kind of difficult for me to um, edit that and like perfectly blend it with the ending, which is this part right here. And maybe that doesn't make sense right now, but as we go on into the edit, once we start adding the clips, then maybe I can explain that better. It's that. It's that part that kind of you now bothers me a little bit because it doesn't sound as natural as I thought. But we'll see. Sometimes the clips can make it better. Then I'm gonna mark this as F1. This is just a simple thing for DaVinci Resolve to add, and it's something, I don't know, because I've never had it in VideoPad. Markers? Hu like, oh my god, huge game changer. Eliminating the time in which I'm scanning through the, the scenes individually by adding markers, so helpful. I'm gonna slow down this clip. I'm gonna go for beat for beat in switching from scene to scene. Then, so that's the beat I'm kind of gonna go with for switching into different scenes. At least that's what I'm gonna start with. Now, I guess you can also see why I said earlier that music plays an important role because it also helps with when to jump from one clip to the next when you go for the beat, the rhythm of the music that you're using. So shot of the beach, I want that one too. Get take out the logos. It's a bit late. I can arrange that right now. I think this is it. So I'm gonna go over here, mark it, and move it so that it's exactly on that beat. The next beat is right there. There is a slow pan in, but I kind of want to make it a little bit more obvious. So, dynamic zoom. Yeah, that's way too, that's way too fast. I'll still way too fast. And it's also nice to have motion that is uniform within the different clips, at least for certain parts of your edit, because it makes the jumping around from scene to scene, it makes the edit more cohesive. This is also a lot of like what editing is, it's just re-watching the clips over and over again so you can just imagine how sick I am of myself. And there's a choice here to be made. I guess like maybe I could fade it in from black. Let's see if that's good. Shit. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I think that does look pretty good actually. I like this clip. I'm gonna add a marker to that because I'll probably need it later. I'm still here.
I'm back to talking, I guess. I did this for an hour. Some of these scenes were just steady shots. So what I had to do was add a dynamic zoom, just kind of panning into the shot a little bit closer just to create movement. And also, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. It kind of adds to the intimacy of these scenes. And then here I stopped with the dynamic zoom for now because mostly how I've uh, pictured this edit to be in my head is it's coming from the perspective of Te. So in some of his scenes, especially ones where he's in deep thought or going through the gay shit, it's pretty steady stuff. This one I had some trouble with because I liked the build up here where it was like, I lay on the But when it goes to this, because I added a part of the scene where there is dialogue so the way that the music kind of dips down feels a bit awkward i don't know if i can fix that also this one too i think i want to change this to one where there's less motion because the two kids are moving a lot there whereas the jump shot into them into adulthood it's pretty steady so maybe I'll try to find one where the water is a bit more calm, just so that those two shots look more um, blended in. Yeah, okay, it's the best I can do. <gasps> but the zoom in, ugh, the dynamic zoom for this is way too quick. And I've already adjusted it. Okay, what about that? There, when it falls, when the music kind of falls in this, so that I could uh, have the dialogue shine through, a bit weird. I think I should have done it here, that, in that beat. But I want to include the part of this, of this scene where Ao's head goes down. Did I say Ao? Maybe I can. Adjust this. Yeah, and then after this, I can cut that. Take this out. Add this. Oh no, I can just stretch this. Oh, okay. I think maybe that's good. This is, okay, now it's a bit awkward because there's a lot of silence here. Maybe it would be better if that overlapped, if the dialogue overlapped with this. Right here. Yeah, I think that would look better. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So what I want to do is have this dialogue start, have this scene begin with just the dialogue while this scene is still playing. So I'm going to take out a lot of the silence. Let's remove that. This one should be aligned here because I've already layered these two scenes together to cut out the middle part just so that there's a smooth transition between the shots of the camera because i don't know if you remember this original scene but there was something else between these two it doesn't straight up go into him talking about the coconut small in his hair which is what i wanted to do i wanted to eliminate that middle part and in order to make those two interactions blend a lot more smoothly i layered the conversations and their voices so that it doesn't feel like an awkward like cut um, okay, so that's going to be difficult for me to add here because everything, hmm, everything is already layered. Okay, I'm going to link these two clips just so I know when they're getting out of sync. Where is that? <laughs> How do I do it? Group them together, sir. There, link clips. That was a lot. Another challenge with this stuff is the, the subtitles because the subtitles are embedded in the video so i can't take them out and create my own my point is that i have to match the text because i overlaid the scene of oh in the tub as you've 
you probably know if you've seen the show that this scene is completely different and not involved in the conversation but i kind of wanted it overlaid with the conversation as he says that my hair smells like coconuts too because i wanted to show him putting the coconut shampoo in his hair for emphasis because i'm dramatic like that so this is what that looks like currently <laughs> there see so i tried to if you'll see here i tried to match the text i added my own text with the already embedded text of the subtitles i'm gonna snugly clip these two together which is not happening for some reason okay so i'll just wow why is that why why are you like this the subtitles are way too quick on that one Okay, that's pretty smooth. I'm not mad at that. Hold on. I have a crisis. This is one of those things where like, if I move this, then this will get moved, and then this one will be out of sync, etc. I don't want to move the timing of it currently. It's pretty good where it is. So, mm, that's gonna be tricky. I don't like that. Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, I did it. Okay. I mean, I think it sounds better. I think this was worth it. Ugh, the way he sniffed him. Like, why would he do that? Never mind. I've stopped questioning it. I'm just here for the art now. Lots of experimentation happening. I'm... I'm also confused. And then I move... Will this work? Oh, <gasps> wait, what did I miss? Oh, mm, this also needs to fade out. Okay, that's pretty good. Is it really, um, is it really good or am I just trying to compensate? <laughs> I never know with me sometimes. Aya, aya, bunga, bunga. Ooh, malay. Right here, move this up here. So we know where to... That's way too far, dude. I have a plan. I have a plan for this portion of the of the edit, and I think it's gonna be cute. I actually am really excited. I'll get like inspiration for impact, um, or you know whatever the edit truly is about while I'm editing. That's why I don't really plan these things out because I, I tend to come up with it in the middle of you know my act artistic endeavors. I think I'd like to change this to the shot of his feet instead so that there's sort of like an easing oh what did i do what did i do what i'm trying to say is that the first shot of like actual humans that you see in the edit is of fingers so you know we can't just like add a human out of nowhere and just have it be parts of him that are showing first other than like already him you know why didn't i take that part maybe it's because there's movement there and i didn't like it Oh yeah, it is because there's movement. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. I like that so much better. There's still something a bit awkward about it, and I think... I want it to do like a... type of deal, and I don't know how to... Mm, I don't know how to do that here. Let me see. That is so bad. Can't I add noise? Noise is like my go-to for transitions and for like how I live my life. I like a sound, like electricity, electric sound. I'm very, very, very professional. I just went ahead and got some glitch effects. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm just gonna add the ones that I downloaded. Is it laced with a night in a... Yes, perfect. Okay, and then glitch sound effect. I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need to scroll down. That's perfect. I didn't even have to adjust anything. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Aya, 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 bangya, bangya, bangya. Don't look at that. Don't look at my messy timeline. Uh, okay. I know what I'm gonna do there. Oh god, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I'm so excited for something that you've already seen. What I want to do is I want to have them underwater. I don't know yet if I want to overlay dialogue over that or if I just want the music. But for sure, what I want to do about the music is make it sound like it's being listened to underwater. Oh, this is my problem here. It has background music. So this is gonna be tough. Some underwater sounds? What is that? We'll find out together. Eerie sounds recorded in the deep ocean. Girl. Okay, I feel like there's territory here that I didn't need to enter. Um... I'm not sure if I like what I did there. Maybe I need to watch it as a whole to kind of see if I enjoy it. I don't know. Oh, that's awesome. I think I want to add that glitch thing right here. Right about here. That looks much cooler. Much cooler. I love that. I mean, it's not the worst. I enjoyed it. That's good. That's good. I like how that looks. Uh, I'm now going to render this and post it in as high qual 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 quality as possible. Uh, anyway, that is my video. Thank you for watching. Hope this was uh, helpful, educational, good, nice, whatever you find it. And um, yeah, like and subscribe <laughs> as per usual. See you around, Nip Nation. Good nipple.